Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Plexter PX504A DVD Plus R Plus RW internal drive. What is included in this package is an IDE cable, four screws and a manual eject lever, two types of media, one is a CDR 80 minute disc as well as a four times DVD-R disc. Now you have four software programs included with this particular package. You have one called Roxio Easy CD Creator version 5.3 DVD edition. This will allow you to create your own videos whether it be on CD or DVD as well as creating data whether on CD or DVD. You also get a program called Roxio Photo Suite version 5 SC. That's a photo image editing software package as well as Cyberlink Power DVD version 4 XP. That's a software DVD player. And finally, they've included a backup program which will allow you to back up your volumes as well as your drives. And also included is a manual and the drive. This is an internal six-in-one drive. Now what I mean by that is that you have a four times DVD plus R, a 2.4 times DVD plus RW, a 12 times DVD ROM, a 16 times CDR, a 10 times CD RW, and finally a 40 times CD ROM all in one drive. This drive also has buffer underrun proof technology and that prevents errors when you're burning CDRs, CDRWs. As well it has lossless linking which prevents errors when you're writing DVDs. Also each DVD contains around 4.31 gigabytes of data when it's actually burned to the CD. Access times for the CD is 120 milliseconds, for the DVD is 140 milliseconds. It has 2 megabytes of buffer. As well this drive has black tray inside of it and that actually minimizes the jitters on the drive. Now I'm going to eject the drive a little later on the video review so you can have a look and a listen. It also has flash ROM which allows you to easily update it from the internet. It supports DVD plus RW background format. The usable DVD formats are DVD ROM, DVD video, multi-border, closed disk read only, multi-session, usable CD formats are CD DA, CD ROM mode 1, CD ROM mode 2, CD ROM XA, CDI, photo CD, video CD, CD Extra, CD Text, Multi Session, and UDF. The recording DVD plus RW modes are Sequential Write, Random Access Write, and Disk at 1. Also the recording CDR, CDRW modes, Track at Once, Disk at Once, Session at Once, Multi Session, Fixed and Variable Packet Writing, and this drive is compatible with Windows 98 SE, 2000, ME, and XP. And remember, with this drive you have one year of full warranty with unlimited toll-free tech support. What is important to remember here is that this particular drive is a DVD plus R as well as a plus RW. Now that is different than the minus R as well as the minus RW drive. So you can't buy minus media for this particular drive. You have to go out and find plus media. The big differences between these, well, they're very, very little. The minus is a little older, a little bit more established. There's more compatibility with DVD home players. The plus is a newer media. It's supports lossless linking and as well both CAV and CLV writing but overall both the formats are going to be completely compatible with DVD home players. There is one thing to remember though and something that I have found is that in my particular area I can get more easily the minus media than the plus and I found that the minus media is a little bit cheaper than the plus. However, that will change over time because of course this is a new technology and that tends to be a little bit more expensive at the beginning. Now there's different types of DVDs. There's DVD5 which is a single layer which this media is and it supports around 4.3 gigabytes and the DVD9 that's a dual layer and that's what you normally see on video CDs you rent or you buy commercial DVDs and you also have DVD10 now this drive would support that however there's not that type of media that I've seen on the market readily available yet it's double sided and that supports over 8 gigabytes of data. 
On the front of the drive at the very left bottom is the headphones jack. This is the volume control. You have an LED indicator. Right here is the emergency eject hole. You have an eject button as well as the tray front door. At the back of the drive right here is the digital audio output connector. To the right of that is the analog output connector. Right here is the mode jumper. Here is the IDE cable connector and the power connector. Let me now eject the tray door so you can have a look and a listen. Quality wise, this product is no different than any other Plexta product on the market. It's very well constructed, performs well, and is stable. Now let me go back to performance. This is currently one of the fastest drives on the market, four times DDDR as well as 2.4 times DDD. RW. Now what does that mean exactly? Four times seems awful slow. Well, four times DVD actually equals around 36 times CD. So there's a big difference there. The transfer rates at four times around 5.4 KB per second. Now let's go back to the DVD RW. 2.4 times equals around 20 times CD RW. So you can see there's a big difference there as well. It's not the same. And the transfer rates on the DVD RW are around 3 KB Per second. Overall, this product is kick ass. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com, and while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Until the next time, take care.